Hey everyone, today we're diving into style settings. Exciting, right? Style settings are essential tools that allow you to design elements on your canvas, giving life to your creations, web pages, and all the designs you've crafted. When you select an element, be it a section or text, you'll notice the Style Settings option. We'll be discussing backgrounds, shadows, and borders in this session. First up, let's talk about backgrounds. Under the Background option, you can choose a color and even layer it with an image or gradient. To modify the color, select your desired element. For instance, I'll pick this container. Click on the color icon and choose your preferred shade. Want to add some opacity? You can do that too. Pretty neat, right? Additionally, you have the flexibility to incorporate an image. When you hit the plus icon, you'll be prompted to choose between adding an image or a gradient. Selecting image brings up a dialog box. You can layer multiple images, positioning them as you like, say one in the top left and another in the bottom right. The possibilities are endless. Need to swap out an image? Just use the Replace Image option. There's a plethora of options available, some of which we'll explore in another tutorial. Additionally, you can easily remove images with the Delete icon. Want to jazz things up a bit? Add a gradient. Click on the gradient icon, and you can tweak the colors and the gradient spread. Dive in, adjust colors, and set the vibe. Moving on, let's discuss shadows. Shadows add depth, making elements pop on the page. Code Design offers four variants of shadows. Neil mean no shadows. The light option provides a subtle shadow. Let's apply it to this text. Notice the faint shadow? Opt for dark, and the shadow becomes more pronounced. Check it out. It's quite evident now, right? Now, let's explore borders. Borders are outlines that frame an element. You can apply borders to all sides or select individual sides. Here's a quick rundown. Top, bottom, left, and right. For this demo, I'll apply a border to all sides. Click on the color palette, and I'll opt for a darker hue for visibility. To simplify, adjust the border width. I'll go with two pixels, deselect, and there's your border. You can also experiment with styles, like a dotted border. There are several styles to choose from. Another feature to highlight is the border radius. It defines the curvature of your element's edges. For a subtle curve, input a value like 10 pixels. Observe the change. It's more pronounced with images. Using a percentage value like 50% transforms an image into a perfect circle. That wraps up our discussion on border radius. I hope this tutorial provided clarity on style settings. If you have any questions or feedback, drop them in the comments. We're here to help.